Hi, it's uh, Tina Hewitt, Stepping Up Demonstrator in Adelaide, Australia. And I hope you've been enjoying all the fantastic videos so far um, during our catalogue launch um, event for Create Together Stampers. Now, um, so we are, we are launching the annual catalogue for May to um, April 22, so May 21 to April 22. So this is our annual catalogue. Um, and um, there's lots of lovely new things in the catalogue uh, but I'd just like to focus on something that's carrying over from the previous catalogue and I have a little bit of a story about about this um, stamp set I actually got this at the um, last Stampin' Up! convention that I went to live in November 2019 uh, because it was a, a preview of the um, January 2020 to June mini catalogue where this bundle um, was released. And um, so I, I got this at convention. We made a, a, a cute little card at convention with it and using the punch. So as soon as I got home, I ordered the punch to go with it. Um, and um, so that, that was the start of my affection for this um, bundle, this stamp set and punch. Then um, what happened was I was going to um, do class on this in uh, 2020, around about March or April, and we all know what happened in March 2020. We, we went into lockdown, so um, it, it didn't really eventuate. So I tried to do Zoom classes and that didn't really work that well. My in-person classes were cancelled, of course, because of the pandemic. And so, um, yeah, things were a little bit in limbo, but I still had a, um, a play with the stamp set. Now, this is a card that I really loved making um, last year and I wanted to recreate this card using current products because, unfortunately, it's a few things on this card that are retired but the stamp set isn't, that's still there. So I'll bring in this, this one. This is a new interpretation of this card using um, new colours. So this is a uh, fresh freesia. That's the main colour here, the purple one. And um, similar sort of layout, different background stamp. That one, I can't even remember the name of it now. Um, but I used the birch background stamp very, very lightly just to get this little light um, brown uh, in there. And then I embossed this with the um, Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. This um, Fresh Fraser piece was in, embossed with the Painted, um, painted Texture Embossing fol Folder, which is 3D. So, yeah, I was really... Um, happy with um, the way this turned out and on the inside I created a little border of little flowers, little tulips. Um, I love tulips. Um, I went to a, um, a farm many, many years ago in Holland and there was yeah masses and masses of tulips everywhere. So um, I have a great fondness for tulips and I was so glad that they're carrying over the stamp set in the new catalogue. I'll just show you this page, that's on page 38, it's a stamp set. And on page 39, I saw this and I thought, wow, really like that. Um, this is used with our new designer series paper, um, artistically inked or something like that. I think that's the name of it. And I thought, you know what I'm going to do, I've been playing around with this little technique um, for the last few days. Um, that I've seen lots of people have, are doing it and it is called well it's called sort of, I think it's a using our alcohol blends st um, stamp and blends alcohol markers and vellum and um, I'll just show you let's move this out the way now because we we've, uh, don't need that just yet move that out the way over there and I've been playing so these are some of the ones I've created and lots of people have come up with all sorts of different interpretations of this technique. There's a, a blurry green one and a rainbow one. 
So, um, so yeah, you can do, oh, you, you can just, just play and it's uh, really good for just relaxing, uh, as you'll see in a minute when I show you how to do this. And just put these aside and I'll show you the card that I made using that. So that's my interpretation of that card in the catalogue. So I added an extra bloom. Um, so that's that one there. And I created something I'm really pleased with how it came out. And I'll show you how to, how to do that one. And while I was having a play with this, the stamp set and the punch, I stamped a whole load of um, tulips in all sorts of different colours and I and I punched them all out and um, I had some left over so I created a bunch of tulips for a uh, birthday card. I have a friend who's turning 84 this week and I'm ha going to a lunch for that and um, I think she'll love that card. So let's have a look at this technique. For this technique, you will need some vellum. So vellum cardstock. Um, and you'll need a piece of white, basic white, the same size as your vellum to go underneath so you can see the colours. Okay, um, I've got my card base already there. Um, and you will need, and I've just got some white sheet here, just so I can see what's happening with the colours. And you'll need some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Now, um, I finally found this brand in Bunnings here in Adelaide. Um, and because uh, it's been out of stock for a, a bit, I think. Um, and it, I think this is, um, you can use it for cleaning your yeah, lens, mirrors, glass, all that sort of stuff. Um, now, before I found this uh, a couple of days ago, I've been using this one, which I also got from Bunnings. And this is a big bottle 500 mils, this one's only 125. So because I've been playing with this technique, the um, the big bottle will keep me going for a little while. So I'll sit down now and I'll show you what to do with this. Um, excuse me, just have a little, little drink. Okay, so I've put some of the alcohol in a little glass. So it's a little shot glass. I'm not going to drink from it. Um, it is just for my um, painting. So, um, and I'll just move this card out of the way. Now, um, you can use our um, water painter brushes um, for this. I will just use some really, really cheap, I mean, I'm talking really cheap, um, little brushes that I got from one of the cheap shops here. Um, and they, you know, depending on the size of your brush will, will create different effects. So, you know, just get cheap, nasty, <laughs> nasty brush. So, um, so what you do first is you get your alcohol markers. And on this card, I used pale papaya. Um, and uh, I think I used magenta madness and um, polished pink. So they're the three colours I use there. Um, I'll do that again, something similar. So it's best to use the dark version of the Stampin' Blends. And I'll use the brush end and you just scribble. Scribble onto your vellum. I'm going, I'm going to do quite a a, a stripe of this, uh, this colour to start with. And then um, I'm going to bring in one of the other colours. So um, this one is Dark Magenta Madness. So I'll use some of that. And it can overlap a little bit because this is a dark colour. Right. I'm going to go reasonably close to the edges and I'm going to put just a little couple of little dots in there. Um, otherwise it will end up just being too pale and washed out. 
I have got the light polished pink, but I don't think that'll actually come out that well. It might be a bit too pale, but I'll just put some there anyway, a little bit there, and I'll do the dark polished pink at the bottom. So just it's just a scribble. You can do little circles. Um, this is going to sort of work as, as a stripey sort of effect. Okay, and now this is where the Zen comes into it. So um, you, can, you can watch the magic happen and you just get a paintbrush and you just start putting dots. So you will, if you have a, a little cloth handy just in case you get a dark color on one and you don't want to have that so you see little dots happening get this bigger fatter brush and just put a few little dots like that doesn't matter if the pink goes into the yellow as you'll see and it's just a matter of dotting it around now if you put too much alcohol on here, what will happen is it will turn into a wash and it will go very, very pale and it will, um, you won't get, I, I like all these little bubbles. I just, I think it looks like bubbles to me. Um, that's my effect. If they, see how this is starting to join up and it's very pale. Um, so we'll see how it finishes up and then I can always add more colour. So if it does, if it does go too pale, um, then you can just let it dry and then add a bit more um, of the colour with your markers just to make it do so now, make it um, get some more colour in. So now, okay, I'll get my fine little brush. I'll do some more with this medium one, a little bit more down. So I don't want these lines on the edge. And it's probably a good idea just to be, have, you, have been a when, <laughs> have ventilated room because um, you can start getting a whiff of the alcohol here. Oops, that's okay. Uh, I might have to open the window in a minute, but that's okay. Oh, fine. So this is sort of opening up into a little bit, bit of a big bare area. So I'll just show you how, what you can do with that. Um, is to have your, have your heat tool handy, and um, just to give it a quick blast. That, that will see it dries fairly quickly so now this has gone into a bit of a pale area so I'm just going to add some more of this of the papaya it's probably is a bit too pale um, but I could introduce something like dark pumpkin pie into that just to add a little bit more color and I'll just put a few little little spots on there and I'll put some of the, um, what's this on, dark polished pink in there, just to, just to add a little bit more colour. And then I'm going to go back with my little brush here, sort of, and just add a couple more smaller dots. So it, it, it does take a little bit of time to do it, but I'll just um, see if I can just do that and then if you've got some spots that are really dark just put a little drop on there to lighten them up again and i'm just going to create this into little little bubble dots 
by putting, just using the small brush, do that. Okay. And I'm just trying to remove that line around the edge of that, these coloured bits. So all highly technical terms. You know, so it's just, and just watch the magic happen. And then when you're happy with it, that's then the next step. And I think it is coming along now. Just put a little bit more in there. You see how adding that little bit of orange just makes that look um, less bare. So uh, I think that that'll be fine now. Um, and I like this, all these sort of lines around there. That adds to it. So I'll give it another quick blast with the heat tool. Make sure it's dry. Oh, okay, that's dry. Now the rest of the card is fairly easy to put together. So I'll bring that in. So the next little trick is to put this onto your uh, white background because if I put this onto the card front, let's see how it, it changes the effect. I mean, that looks nice, but I, I think I prefer it actually on the white. So... Now to stick vellum onto cardstock, there's a couple of little um, tricks that you can do. And what you can do so that you um, don't see, don't see the glue, is you can get, get your multi-purpose glue. I'll put a big blob on onto my uh, silicone mat. I have an old sponge here that I use just for this purpose. It's a glue sponge. Um, so I've put this aside for that. And um, I will just, I'll just put a little, a little napkin. I'll just put a napkin under that. Okay, and let's pick up a bit of this and I'm just gonna dot it. All over. all over my cardstock here, especially near the edges. That's the main bit. I want to make sure it doesn't lift. So, And if you do it fairly finely, you won't see the glue um, through the vellum. So now this is the same size. So I'm just going to line up that corner, line up that corner. Okay, and press that down. Okay, I'll get rid of that. So that is my feature piece for my card. And that can just go on the card front. Now, um, so the next thing what I did was I actually stamped the, um, the stem with um, one of the new colours, which is uh, soft succulent, which I've got here. You can stamp on vellum. You just have to be a little bit... A little bit careful. Oh, actually, before I do that, um, I'll um, do the tulips. Okay, so what I recommend for um, doing this is have a strip of card like this, um, and you have your tulip stamp. I've got two colours here, pale papaya, and Mango Melody. So just going to stamp a couple of these. Hopefully, is that still in shot? Yep, that one. And that one. And where's my chamois? My chamois are over here. 
Okay, just change that colour. That is Mango Melody. Might just be able to get one on that strip of cardstock. Right, and um, so now I just have to punch them out. So what I'm going to do is actually feed it in from this side because I've got the leaf here. And I'm going to punch out my three tulips. Line that up. Okay, that's finished. And then I've got my um, my leaves to do. Just got to grab. I didn't bring. Okay. I have got them around here somewhere. It's my leaf. And I have got another scrap of card here. It's another strip. This one I'll just stamp a couple of those soft, soft succulent. Okay, so I've got my leaves and I've got my tulips and, um, and my greeting. So that's in um, same green. See so if I can get it on the all in one on this little piece here and I'm just out on the edge of the shot sorry about that there we go that'll do okay so that's that one um, okay I've got all my pieces for the card, I have to still have to stamp the stem. So what um, what I will do is um, just position my my tulips where I'm going to have them. They're going to be on with di dimensionals, so sort of roughly about there, right on an angle, uh, and then I'll get the um, the grain, soft succulent, and the stamp. Uh, stamp stamp now this yeah you've still got to be a little bit careful with this because um because vellum it can smudge easily so let's take it off this car just onto my grid paper now And I'm just going to do it roughly where, where I want the flowers to go. Try not to rock it too much. You can, you know, you can just draw it with the alcohol markers. That's another way to do it. Um, and I'll just step there. And that one. We go back there. Okay.
Right, so that's coming along now. Yeah. I think that's all my stamping done. Oh, apart from the piece that goes on the inside of my card. I'll just leave that grain there for a sec. And I'll just... I'm just going to do a little... A little flower at the bottom, so... Which you can't see. <laughs> There you go. This is going to be on the inside of my card, and I'll try. I'll use the other, the little, little bud stamp. This one, and um, I'll put that in pale papaya. I'll stamp that one on there. Step that there. Okay, that's pretty. Yeah, see if I've got ink on my fingers. So I know what I normally do is I get ink on my fingers and then I transfer it to a lovely piece of white that's going on the card and I have a spudge. But if that happens, that's when you get the bling out. <laughs> like your um Right, your rhinestones or your... Oh, there you go. There's one. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I do. I can't really do a rhinestone in the inside of the card, but I can turn that over and do it again. But I won't, I won't for this thing. But, okay, I'll just leave that for now because I'm going a little bit over time. So this is ready to um, go onto the card and I'll just stick that with the multi-purpose glue. Good old melt multi-purpose glue. I'll put that on card front. And but yeah, so now you've seen the technique. So um so get your alcohol markers, the stamping blends, and um get some vellum cardstock um, and some rubbing alcohol, and then you'll be able to have a play with this technique. I try different colours um, and see what you get. Now, um, you you will need to watch your colours because of the um, the rainbow effect um, and the colour wheel thing. I, I did art at school, so I've got a bit of an idea. So with um, with the colour wheel, if you use colours that are next to each other on the wheel. And they blend together they won't um, mix into a muddy brown but if you have um, colors from opposite sides of the wheel you, and they and you mix them together quite often they'll end up brown or a muddy gray or something like that and that's not what you want um, so just you just need to play with that so so yellow and orange and reddy pinky are next to each other on the wheel. So um, that works out well. So that's all That's all there. And then I'm just going to put the um, leaves on with mini dimensionals and the greeting on with that as well. But yeah, so have a, have a play and I'll just hold the corners down to let the glue set a bit more. So I'll put that one about there. It's a fun technique. I really enjoy um, doing this and I've got, yeah, some more, more samples to play with. So I'll be, I'll be having fun, fun with that. And, um, yeah, so just feel free. Um, I watched a video by a UK demo. I can't remember her name, unfortunately. Sorry, and she did all sorts of things with it. So um, it's just a matter of playing. You can, you can um, just flick drops of alcohol on there. Um, 
I might actually redo this bit, but I'll just um, hold that there. <laughs> so that's the card. So that's the card I've made. Just move my dimensionals out of the way. That's these are the the ones. So that was the one I made before, and this one in the new colours. I'll move things out of the way so you can see them all. And um, so I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Um, don't forget we've got a special uh, for this event that we have free shipping on um, orders from $70 and over and that's right up until 5 p.m. on Friday. So um, yeah, so contact your demonstrator that's um, referred you to our page and, um, and happy shopping and happy stamping and I'll see you next time and um, uh, look forward, I look forward to the next video. Um, Ellie's got something spectacular to show you. So bye for now.